Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane and today I'm gonna play with this because I ordered uh, this set here which is for this little guy here. Yep, um, I actually had this set since before Christmas and never got a, the time to take a look at it and I, you know, this was my white whale, my holy grail uh, because couldn't find him in stores and uh, it was actually my first toy review because I was just so happy to have him and it started me now. I have more toy review videos than I do voice acting spotlight, uh, which you should check out by the way though. It's still the main feature of my channel, something I'm super proud of. And Dan Gilvesan voiced this fantastic guy. And um, too bad that they couldn't re-release it outside of the Netflix line because uh, you know now he's just a remolded cliff jumper in the Buzzworthy Bumblebee, uh, the four pack. And um, I don't think we're gonna see a beetle in a long time, so extremely happy to have this guy. And he's selling at scalper price now. Uh, even if you're not a scalper, when stores uh, are were able to get him, uh, they sold it, you know, way higher than the uh, retail release price because people were willing to pay for it. I wasn't. I got lucky. I got Lone Dragon to, to send it to me. Let's roll the intro and let me toy axe him. Big guy thought that much of me. All right, well, this is what we have to play with. Uh, Bumblebee, a fantastic figure by itself. He already has a little decals. I had a leftover from the Ratchet and Lifeline kit, so I just applied it there. So probably that's gonna change by the end of this video. And then, you know, you have the accessories, which are complete. I don't even display them with those, actually. What I do is these go to my Titan's Return uh, wind charger. And uh, this I use as a maze for Power of the Prime Brawn as a mace, it's kind of cool. I actually use the Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Origin Bumblebee gun with the Netflix Bumblebee just because it fits better. And the Origin Bumblebee one is always in vehicle mode, so the, these look better on Wind Charger anyway. I don't, I don't think they fit Bumblebee at all. But let's see what the decals do. It's still gonna look pretty nice. You have three sheets. Uh, this is mainly windows and uh, little other accessories that's gonna look good honestly the 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 whole thing why I get decals it's either to make it more toy uh, show accurate or the windows you have uh, this on foil backing uh, looks really good I prefer uh, vinyl but foil is still looking pretty good and then you have this on vinyl and it's the license plate and honestly they have the i love new york the b127 from the uh, bumblebee movie penny racer the origin of the character and then buzz Bzzz. not one of them says bumblebee or you know blbm anyway i would have actually preferred that but uh, i'm probably gonna go with penny racer the original toy so it's kind of cool the figure itself looks really good He's really nicely articulated. You know, the arms do twist, the head rotates. Actually, it jams a little bit. You have to kind of force it, and I don't like that. Uh, legs kick up, kick down. Anyway, I'm not gonna do a full review because it's mainly about the decals, but the, you know, he's lacking details. Yeah. Although the paint is amazing, still he could use some enhancements. So let's see what Toy Hacks does for him. Bumblebee to Optimus Prime. Are we getting close? So I'm back from toy hexing. I have a couple leftovers, of course, the extra license plate. Uh, can't focus. Come on. You can. She can't. All right. So whatever. And I have extra eyes. Uh, and I'll see if they can fit another bot. If they have a same, uh, similar mold, maybe cliff jumper. I don't know. I'll check. And no extras here. So um, the eyes were terrible to apply. Like, really? This? You you want to ruin someone's life? Just put all small decal, decals like, like that that go inside a, uh, a surface, you know? So it's, it's terrible. 
Um, you get the decals on the forearm, the crotch, this who will tra translate on the uh, vehicle mode. So really good enhancement for the, uh, the robot mode. And then you have this little extra hidden gem. This is reminiscent of uh, the G1 uh, packaging art and uh, it looks really good. It's kind of a very odd Autobot symbol, but you know, I'm, I'm glad it evolved into what it is now. But the eyes really pop. It's extremely different than the just pale thing they had before. It, this, this is Bumblebee. So, quite happy. Uh, the guns do get, um, I don't know, ammo clips decal maybe uh, you get one whoa you get one on each so easy to apply good stuff and then this one was a little more complicated because it's uh, one decal that goes over the the thing and then it's to transform it into an energon rod container and uh but it's one decal and then you have to punch puncture uh punch some holes here and they go over the uh you know mold the detail so yeah hey it looks okay um like i said these are weapons for wind charger and brawn from the uh, prime wars trilogy and then this well you have the window and the plate which will be way more cool on the vehicle so that's it for the robot mode let me finish the whole thing and then show you the vehicle mode i wish our luck would change change that's it and in beetle mode before the toy hacksing, um, I think I put the hands backwards here like they should be flipped around because there's a gap today, so I'll fix it. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the car itself looks really good. He's a little plain, you know, he's very yellow. Uh, but then again, you don't see many cars with tons of details. And now I see that there's a, a crack or a blemish in my windshield. So Toy Axe is gonna fix that, so that's a bonus, you see? Oh man, and this is not an old figure. Anyway, uh, love the alt mode, love the, uh, the, you know, that it's an actual old Volkswagen Beetle and not a, a new one, like, I don't like the new Beetles. And, uh, well, the new ones, the one that came out in the early 2000s. Um, so I like this, uh, this vehicle mode, but, uh, you know, can't wait to have a plate, to have, you know, more details on him. So that's final look before. <laughs> Now back from toy hacksing the uh, exterior um, yeah I figured out why I have a gap because there's a little joint here that needs to be clipped in more properly and uh, I'm just too lazy to do it right now but uh, first thing you're probably noticing is that I removed the wheels and that's because there's brake pads and uh, the, honestly um, the amount of effort for what it get for what it gives I, I, I'm not seeing it but it does look nice like once you pop that wheel back in uh, you don't see it that much like you you see it a little bit through the uh, the holes here and then you have that line for the black sticker and uh, I, yeah I guess it looks nice enough it doesn't really translate well on camera though but uh, yeah it's okay so I, um, I wanted to show this before I clip the wheels back on because um, it's always scary to remove parts that are not exactly meant to be removed. So there you go. So Bumblebee completely toy hacked. Um, so what we get is uh, the lights, uh, really nice, nice shine, very reflective. Uh, the windows are amazing. This. As you know, this is the main reason why I do get toy hacks is because of the window decals. And these are amazing. And actually, you know what? Paying close attention when applying them, I realized how many little paint smudge I had. Now it's all covered up. So really happy with this. And then you have the little mirror here. Really nice. Uh, it's reflective and all. And what else? Oh yeah, the bumper. Uh, not the bumper, the, the plate. I did put the penny racer one. So uh, quite nice. And uh, 
I think that, that's it. Uh, you can tell that I left the Autobot logo there because there's actually no decals to, to improve that with uh, the toy hack set. So thank God I had that extra set from the Paradron Medics. So there you go. Uh, let me put him back in uh, robot mode and I'll give you my final thoughts. Let's see what they're doing. So in the end, this is how it's going to be displayed. So Braun with the mace and his uh, shield that came with the uh, the figure. I think it looks uh, pretty badass. And then, I don't know, Wind Charger, he didn't come with any guns or anything. So putting these on to him, I think he it uh, really enhances uh, that figure. And then Bumblebee, this is the rifle or the pistol from the origin Bumblebee. And I think that looks pretty good. So that's how they're displayed on my shelf. And uh, thanks to Toy Hacks, uh, Bumblebee's gonna look better. I actually might have to display him in uh, vehicle mode because those windows are sick. Love it. And I'm, I might have uh, to order a couple more sets uh, because uh, it's been a while since I did a uh, Toy Hacks uh, video or any Toy Hacks purchase. And I, I do wanna enhance a couple more figures. I don't think I'll do 100% of my uh, collection, but uh, yeah, maybe a good 50. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I always love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.